Good evening, my name is Modi Apparatus, and welcome to Nimbatis, the Space Drone Constructor. This game is currently on Kickstarter, developed by Strayfon Studio, and it is in pre-alpha state right now. It's kind of a demo for it, really. And what this is, is, well, as you can see here, a Space Drone Constructor. We'll be building drones, which we can take out and achieve various objectives. Uh, we can build them however we want to. A lot of versatility there. Uh, we can make them fully automated if we need to. All kinds of different stuff we can do with this. It's a really cool game. I can't wait to see how it develops and see it on Kickstarter get backed. Anyways, let's get into Nimbatis, the Space Drone Constructor. So, let's start a brand new game here. I played a little bit of this off camera, just to get an idea for how the game goes. So, we get our first planet here. Planet Kwambe. Kwam, Kwami. Kwam, 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 Kwami. I don't know how to say that one exactly. Not a big deal. We need to build a drone, though. So, we have a mission here. Our mission is to destroy transmitter and then uh, destroy hives. If we do those things, we get a rare weapon. If we do the other one, we get to find out some new locations. So let's select a drone here. And as you can see, we don't have any drones made just yet. So let's get into the constructor then. Now this is where we'll build our drone. So this here is the core of the ship here, basically. This is the drone brain. It has the release drone function. It has a thousand HP and a mass of three. This basically lets us know um, what this is this is the core of the ship most for the most part here i don't think we have to protect this a whole lot but we do need to i guess i suppose if you lose this you lose the ship probably but basically this arrow here points to tells you which direction your ship is going to be facing so you can have a left and right and all that stuff you get a little idea of where it goes here um you get a uh you can have a center of mass also which i found helpful so you can see where your ship is actually balancing as far as like your weight so the mass here is important the, the right now the the Blocks we have available are just these four here, and these are your building blocks you can do whenever you want with those. Um, so you add on these, and you can see the center of gravity a little changes just a little bit there. You add another one here, it moves for a little bit, so the center of mass kind of changes a little bit. Press delete to get rid of those. There's also some thrusters we can add on. These are our go, get up and go here. Um, we can basically assign these to whatever button we want to activate them to. So if we have buttons we want to use for, you know, left and right thrust, we can choose those, and they're independent of each thruster. We also have uh, fuel, which we'll need for the thrusters. Fuel require, thrusters require fuel. We also have batteries. Batteries are used for weapons. Weapons all require batteries to be used. So there's a lot of different things we need to add, add on to this here. And we need this kind of a basic idea for our ship here. For now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add on some wings to it on each side of it here. And this is going to be a very, very limited build here right now. There's no real, you have some, of the, some of the missions you'll find in the game here have certain objectives for your drones, like you can't use more than a certain number of parts. Right now, that does not seem to be the case. So we can build this as badass as we need it to be. Um, as you can see there, what I was doing is I was uh, clicking onto a block and that connects it to the previous block. If I just put a block on here, it normally connects it to the main thing here. Um, it'll try to connect it initially to the main brain here. But if I click another block, it connects it to that block instead. The important thing to remember is to not overlap blocks that messes with the physics of the game here. And this is a fully physical game, really. Everything kind of works. The pieces of the ship will get blown off here if we're not careful. And all kinds of different stuff will happen. And so for now, what I want to do is I'm just going to add on these. I'm going to set these to, let's see, that D is right. D is going to go left. Okay, that was, yeah, D is right. So what I want to do then is press Control C to copy that one and copy this one to each one of those. And as we go here, I'm going to move it to the next block. So this is gonna be our kind of main thrust here. And I don't wanna copy that one anymore, now it's going to A. So I'm gonna copy this one for A, and it automatically shifted the button over for me. And so now when I press A, it's gonna go one direction. When I press, this whole left side is gonna go. When I press D, the whole right side will go when I press A. And we can actually go for a test flight quick and just see how that's gonna work. So press, press. oh, you know what we don't have is fuel yet. That is not gonna do much for us if we don't have fuel. So that's the next thing to think about. Add on fuel for our ship, we'll just use these bigger ones here. These have, a mass of one and 500 fuel. Uh, these ones have 200 fuel, I want to say. 200 fuel is half amount, and they have a refill of, per second of 10. These ones do not refill. So having a refillable ones is might, it might be a little bit better, even though it, it takes up a little bit more let more room for a little less versatility here. Capacity, I should say, not versatility. A little less capacity. It might be better to have these ones that can refill at 10 per second, because at least we'll never run out of fuel if we have some of these. So we'll have those in the back here. We might want to have a way to protect those as well. But we'll think about that in a minute here. All right, so then, 
Now that we have that, we can do a little test flight for our ship here. So it's gonna spin around like that and spin around like that and spin around like that. And we can wanna go straight, we have to press both buttons at the same time. Works for me. Pretty simple, pretty simple operation. Graceful, turns on a dime. No weapons here, we're just getting smashed. And as you can see, there's a little bit of stability problem. We got hit there on the wing. You can see these wings are just ready to break off. So this might not be the best. And I actually, just for the short flying around here, the fuel is already depleting. But if, if I stay off for a second or two, the, the fuel will come back. I just have to make sure I'm doing it in bursts here a little bit. Yeah, now the fuel's starting to come back a little bit. Pulling it down like that's going to burn up fuel fast, though. This might be overkill as far as the amount of thrusters we have. We might want to dial it back just a little bit. So I'm going to go every other one. Just to dial it back just a little bit here. It looks like these got matched to the first one, too. And you did see there was a little stability problem there. So I'm going to say we should... Maybe add on some support here. We'll see. So now we're not moving quite as fast. We're not turning on a dime as much anymore. But we'll use up less fuel per second with less less thrusters. Now let's, let's get a little little firefight here quick and see how these do against these enemies here. If they're still busting off. They're still busting off quite a bit. That's alright. We'll, we'll manage. I don't think we're going to lose a wing or anything like that. Let's just delete these ones for now. I don't think we need that necessarily. Okay, so we didn't uh, balance this quite right, so we're a little bit off right now. Let's get that balanced again. That brings the center of mass right to the center again here. Cool. So then we'll add on some energy. Let's add on some some uh, batteries. The batteries will let us use weapons, so we need to have those on the ship. We'll also want some shields to protect the ship a little bit. Let's add on two shields here. And we need to activate those with, oh, uh, let's say G. That'll add on shields. And then we'll add on some batteries. Shields will use the battery as we, uh, as we turn them on and off. So we just want to make sure we turn them on when we have a need to. It's something I tend to forget about. G though. G, we can definitely do that. And we'll definitely want to add on some solar panels. This will let us recharge a little bit here. These guys recharge at 5 per second. These guys recharge at 25 per second. They, have a lot of, they don't have a lot of capacity, but they recharge quickly. Whereas these ones have a 200 capacity, but don't recharge very quickly at all. These ones here, what do these recharge at? five also, but they're only worth 50. So there is always a need to go up to the bigger ones here. And I'll add on eh, quite a few of these actually. I tend to use a lot of power. And then what we'll do is put in some defenses on the front here to fend these things here. A little bit. We'll go like this. Let's see. Let's look at this. There we go. So these are all connected in a line here. To rotate a thing, we just gotta click it down and then rotate it like that. And there we go. So just use the mouse, mouse wheel to rotate. And then I'll put in some connection here. Not quite straight, is it? For whatever reason, sometimes there is a. Uh, it doesn't quite straighten out sometimes. Which can cause problems. See, it's not straight. No matter what I do, this doesn't click quite straight. And then we will add on some weapons, finally. So, what weapons do I like? I like there's there's a lot. There's spikes you can add on, which just do damage. Some saw blades, which take energy but do damage. These don't take any energy at all, these are just passive. These take energy at 4 per second. Um, they have a lot of damage, though. Bio bullets are good. I like... What I like the most, though, is these... these um, where is it? The plasma rocket snipers? No, not that one. I like this one. 
Bio Rocket Tower Gun. I believe that's the one. Let's try these on here. I think that's the one I like. Let's do a test flight here. Oh, these are different than I was what I was thinking they were. Still good. Still good. All right, we'll grab some of those. We'll grab a lot of these. We'll light them up on here. Now, we got to make sure we don't attach them all to the same spot. Like, right now, they're all kind of weak because they're attached to these things here. If these snap off, then we're stuck. I want to put some more back over here, too. And probably another wing here as well. Oops, I didn't want to do that, though. All right, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Um, anything else we want to add on right now? You know what I do want to add on is some uh, logic a little bit here. What I want to do is say that... Um, have an if gate here. That says if I press W, it presses A. Then I have another if gate here. What says if I press W, it activates a D. And then when I press W, both sides will activate at the same time. And then I don't have to worry about pressing A or W at the same time. Press W, it'll it'll do both. Then I have to let go of W to press the other ones here. So this, this is not good. As you can see, we just saw a little flaw with the plan here. Um, it's not great. Kind of kind of bowed out there. I didn't like I didn't like how that looked. Did not look good. We're gonna rock here. Let's give them a little taste of their medicine, though. Yeah, so that's that's good. You know what problem with this ship though? We cannot go in reverse. We do not have uh, reverse thrusters on this at all yet. Here, let's get put those on there quick. All right, so we made our drone here, and we are ready to go. Um, we added some small modifications here. We got some back thrusters here on, and the front thrusters, and that was about it. Added the back on here just to try to bring the weight back to center here for the most part here. We have 77 parts total used, which isn't too bad. We probably could pair this down with a few less guns. This is a bit overkill for what we're going to be doing today. So let's get into the first mission. Let's save our drone. We can name it whatever we want to do. We we'll call it the... I don't know. Drone guy thing. Rocket drone. Sure. Rocketeer drone. Rocketeer one. Okay. Launch it. Rocketeer one. Because it has a lot of rockets on it. Which is kind of cool. So we'll get into the actual mission here. And we get dropped off by our ship here, the Nimbatus. And we got all these little drone guys, little small little hive guys coming at us here. So there's a hive right down here. This is one of our targets. And that is one down. And now we just ran into the planet here and we don't have enough thrust to get off the planet here. Oh God. Let's see if we can turn it. Okay, let's go out of here quick. Let's try to maintain a safe distance from the planet so we don't get sucked into it again. There's probably another hive over here because we can keep getting swarmed by these things here. All right, two down. As you can see, I mean, I totally, totally overkilled it a little bit on this one. Might be a little bit easy at this point here. So the weapons are fi following my targeting with the mouse here. So when I fire off these these uh, rockets, they they will just auto target wherever I aim my mouse at, which is handy. So they don't have to be aiming at the thing in order to attack it, which is nice. We have four out of five down. We have some new enemies coming up here. I think there's a transmitter. Okay, the transmitter completed. And the drones here. Alright. The hive's completed and the, the, the transmitter is completed. We can exit back out to the Nibatis. And we got Bio Rocket Sniper Tower. And that was our reward, and we also get new area unlocked. So we can go to Planet Bespi, Planet Jixu, Planet Larky, Larky, or Planet Keyboard Smash. 
or the sumo arena. Let's go there. Tra start travel. Okay, so we have to destroy the transmitter and destroy a large hive at the planet's core. Epic weapon. Neat. Um, should we try our drone out and see how it does? Let's try it out. All right, let's see how it does with this nude mission here. We'll see how overkill I made it. It might be that I made it overkill so we can get through a lot of missions here with this one ship. But you never know. Having to get to the ship's, the planet's core might be a problem for us, actually. It's not this hive. We actually have to do some mining here, which is not going to be easy with this currently set up, actually. This isn't really a mining ship. Um, I think what we should do is focus on the transmitter right here. Get that taken care of. Let's see if we can maybe work our way in here. We might need a leaner ship in order to get in there. We're starting to run out of battery now. We gotta let it recharge for a second here. This bio weapon is not great for exploring terrain. Good for ships, not great for terrain. So we might need a different ship in order to accomplish this. We're getting there, but slow, slowly but surely. And we're hung up here. Let's blow this up right here as we're not hung up anymore. We don't have to get the ship back out. We just got to make it survive to get in there. And get into firepower and hit the thing. Let it recharge for a second here. And the batteries should recharge themselves. Yeah, very, very slowly. But they do recharge. Let's concentrate fire here if we can get... I don't think we're going to be able to get the ship down there very easily. While well, we're getting there... As I said, this is not the best weapon for terrain manipulation. If I had read the ship's core, the planet's core thing here, I might have rethought my decisions here with the ship. I think we've in a, heated, we've hit an equilibrium with our power because we're not like really using those last two batteries there at all. So we're using power up at the same rate we're gaining power back right now. Uh, yeah, we need a better weapon for sure for digging here. We'll try it though. We'll keep going. We're going. Also, the wings here are not working the best for us. If we took the wings off, could we still do it? Probably. Yeah, maybe we couldn't turn very easily. But it'd be easier to dig. It's not going super badly. And we also can release our drones. I don't think they're going to do anything for us though. No, oh, we got to the center. the ship a little lower here. All right, we made it to the mother the mother core here. The mother hive. We did it. We did it. And we're in the center of the, the planet also. We we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Pretty cool. All right, so let's exit out here and go to the next mission here. We got Bio Bullet Sniper. And that was our epic weapon. Okay, cool. Let's try it out. Let's add that. Let's add that to our ship here. We'll edit this drone here a little bit. So we got Bio Bullet Sniper was our new weapon here. And where is that? Do you right here? Bio Bullet needs energy to work. Okay, let's try that out. Take a couple of these off. Has it on? Snipers have a long range. They are fire bio, chemical ammunition, bullets, recoil. For mining, we want to use one of these probably. And next time we have a mining mission, I'll go with one of these. But these are these are what are they called? Lasers? Plasma short beam lasers. These seem to work better for mining, I think. But we'll keep that in mind for the next one here. Let's uh let's test it out with this flight here. Looks like these these the fire just straight ahead. I can't aim those at all. That's no fun. Um, I'm not really liking that then, am I? I like to aim it. Now if we had a bunch see sniper tower versus sniper. 
Sniper Tower would do the targeting. We'll try that. All right, so let's launch out for the next mission here. Oh, this is the same mission, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same mission. I don't want to do that again. And we'll go back and let's see where we can go now. So we got a couple more planets here. We have uh, Texugo. Texugu. Let's try this one. Interesting. Just uh, destroy the transmitter, explore nearby locations. Okay, let's try this. With the new one. In our new improved ship. All right, so let's get the ship down there. That's not the transmitter. That's not the transmitter either. Oh God. Oh, we again the twitch gravity for us to even escape it. Let's do this and then turn if we can, and then get. I'll go on. Can't be this high up though. Just don't know where the transmitter might be. I'm doing small corrections here. All right, let's get this way. Let's keep an eye out for, I guess we don't have to worry about anything except for those little, those little gray ships that attack us. If we get to those, those seem to be protecting the transmitter usually. See how we can kill those guys, but it doesn't really matter. We're also running out of fuel a little bit here. We may have gone the wrong way around the planet. Oh, there it is. Yeah, these look great ship every, every single time. There we go. All right, let's get back to the Nimbatus. And we get our nearby locations. Very cool. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Nimbatus. I might bring this back for a few more episodes, make some new drones, try some new kinds of missions and that kind of thing. See what we can accomplish and get into. Let me know what you guys think of the game down in the comments below, though. It's kind of interesting. I think I think it might be fun to build some new drones with this and uh, try out some different kinds of ships. If you have any ideas of things to try, let me know down below as well. And then I'll see you guys back next time for more. Have a good night. Thank you.